Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, thanks for joining. So today it is the start of Valentine's Day weekend. We are going to be making a simple cinnamon cake in our buck pan. This is really easy to throw together and it's great for dessert any time um, of the week, but since it is Valentine's Day weekend, I thought I would share this recipe with you. Let's go ahead and mix up all of our ingredients. Okay, so this is super simple to put together. We are going to start with two cups of all-purpose flour. And we are going to take one tablespoon of baking powder one tablespoon of cinnamon and mix that up real quick. Perfect. Then we are going to take two thirds of a cup of unsalted butter. That is about 11 tablespoons. So let's get that in here. And this has been room temp. This has been sitting out um, most of the day. So we will get that in here. Oops. And we are then going to do one and one third cup of sugar. Perfect. Three eggs. One, two, three. Perfect. And two teaspoons of vanilla. You guys, this is super simple. It's quick and it is oh so good. Nobody, mm. sorry, it's brand new. All right, there we go. Two teaspoons of vanilla. One, two, three. And then just a little bit of salt added here. Nothing too crazy. And we are also going to add two thirds of a cup of 2% milk. People have made this with whole, but I have 2% and it's what I prefer using when I bake. So 2% milk, 2 thirds a cup. I'm just going to break up that butter a little bit and just kind of smush it and then I will whisk this all together. We do have our oven preheating at 350 degrees. When this is done baking, while it's cooling, I will go ahead and show you guys the um, glaze, the cinnamon glaze that we put on top, which is oh so good. Um, actually, I think we can keep using this. I think we need to use the whisk. All right. That looks incredible. It's pretty much what it should look like. We have our bunk pan. That's what I like using for this and my oh so favorite baker's drawer. Let's get this all sprayed. Great, I love this because um, it has actual flour in here so stuff does not stick. Let's go ahead and wait for our oven to preheat and then we will get our cinnamon cake in our bunk pan. Alrighty, our oven just beeped, so it is preheated at 350 degrees. We already greased our bunk pan. This is what our mixture looks like, okay? Our cinnamon cake, and we are gonna get this in here. And this is going to bake for about 40 to 45 minutes, just until um, you stick a toothpick in the center and it comes out clean. So I actually was not planning on making this this week, but both of my kids requested it. So here we go. There we go. Alrighty guys, let's get this in the oven and we will check back in in about 45 minutes. Okay, our timer just went off and our easy, simple cinnamon cake is done. Ooh, my house smells like cinnamon heaven right now. That's what it looks like. We're gonna set it on this wire rack while we make our yummy, delicious glaze. Let's go ahead down and get it all mixed up. All right, y'all. Our glaze is really simple and it's really delicious. I have our Staub pot here. It's all nice and heated up. We're going to put six tablespoons of butter in. 
one half cup of sugar, one third cup of water, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a teaspoon of vanilla. We are gonna stir this for about five minutes over medium heat and our cinnamon cake is cooling down there. We will go ahead and show you the next steps in a few minutes. All right, here's the moment of truth. Our cinnamon cake has been out of the oven for about 15, 20 minutes on this wire rack. Let's see if it comes out. Oh, yes, it is gorgeous. Look at this. I mean, it's perfect. So we have our glaze here and we just went ahead and did that on the stove until all the sugar was melted. It took like three minutes. We are going to take a fork and poke holes all around our cinnamon cake and pour our glaze on top. And that's it guys. I mean, this is heavenly. It is delicious and it's gonna soak up all of that yumminess on there. And that's it, you guys. It is delicious, everybody loves this. I mean, cinnamon, sugar, butter, who wouldn't love it? That's it. If you like this recipe, please subscribe for many more, and I hope everybody has a great Valentine's Day.